We have a vase that's got roses and tulips in it, and we're trying to figure out how many tulips are in the vase. So look at clue one. The number of roses, I'm gonna let R be the number of roses, is four times the number of tulips. That would be four times T. So that doesn't work. You can't solve for T. T might be two, T might be three, six, whatever. Doesn't work. Now, forget about clue one. Forget about it. Clue two, there is a total of 20 flowers in the vase. That would be R plus T equals 20. That doesn't work either. R could be five and T could be 15 or R could be 11 and T could be nine. It just doesn't work. Now what you do is you put both of them together. You've got R equal four T and R plus T equals 20. And that works. You have got two equations in the same two variables, so you can solve it. You can stop right now. Your answer is C. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you would solve it and see if that helps. Okay? But I know the answer is C. We know R is 4T, so you, you could just substitute that 4T in for R, and then you've got an equation with just T in it, so you could solve for T. Okay? And then you could take that value for T and plug it back in and solve for R, okay? That was called substitution method. Um, but you didn't have to do that. Answer is C.